Hi guys, Bonus here and welcome to my mount farming guide episode 1 and this one is about how to obtain the Never Ray riding mount. Okay, so this mount comes in five different colours. It comes in blue, green, purple, silver and red. Right, let's go through some reputation requirements. And everybody starts off with neutral, which is 3,000, friendly, which is 6,000, honoured, which is 12, and revered, which is 21,000. And then over that, you get exalted. Okay, let's go through some game footage. I'll see you in a bit. Hi guys, Bonus here with some in-game footage on how to farm reputation for the Neveray riding mounts. Okay, first off, I'll show you where I am on the map. Okay, so you want to go to Outland and you want to go to the Terracar Forest and just beneath the Alarian Stronghold you could, there'll be a little lake and check this and where the arrow is, that's the encampment that you want to go to Okay, and this is what the encampment looks like Can't miss it, it's full of never rays, what hopefully we'll be getting after So, just land, um, you'll probably be wondering, hey where are the quests? I can't find them. Well, what you've got to do is click on your map and you'll see a low level quests button. Just make sure that's ticked. All the quests will appear and pick up all the quests. There probably there is only one quest to begin with and that is just feeding your never ray. So what you do, you take it further into the lake and you'll be asked to kill these uh, stalkers like this dead one here you'll kill 10 of them and then your never ray will feed on it and you've got to do that 10 times and that's just a daily quest you can do that every single day it gets you about 150 rep but there are other ways to get reputation as well another one is to kill these guys here as you can see 11 11 uh, the reason I'm getting 11 and not 10 is because of actually the guild perk which gives you 10% extra reputation increase so if you're in a guild with that, very good. And what these guys drop are things called Shadow Dust. I can find one, there we go, Shadow Dust. Uh, what you need to do for these is you need to collect six. Uh, you fly back to the camp, hand them in, and for six of them you get a hundred rep and you get an Elixir of the Shadows. Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you what the Elixir of the Shadows does. Right, as you can see I've got a 20 minute buff and able to see the shadowy spirits of the Shektis. Okay, so there they are. You would not be able to see them otherwise if you didn't take this potion. And what these guys drop are time loss scrolls. So what you do, you need to collect 10 of them to summon a mini boss on some circles. If I go to this circle here you can see the pile of bones. Okay, click on that and there we go. You need 10 lost time scrolls to call forth the descendants of Terox adversaries. So these are the four different mini bosses. Uh, you will actually get a quest later on to kill all four of them. So go round, collect 40 time lost scrolls and kill all of these. I'll just summon one just to show you. There you go. Only 70k health, it's literally going to get two shot if you're level 90. There we go, and what they drop, they drop little trinkets, see look there's a Karog spine and each mini box drops a different item and what you want to do with these trinkets is hand them in to one of the guys back at the camp and you, he'll give you a time lost offering. Okay now I'll show you what to do with these, all you have to do when you've got your time lost offering fly to the middle of the map as you can see in the middle of the island there and there's another pile of bones and this is where you'll be able to summon someone called Torok and he is like the main bad guy kind of thing so what you got to do is just kill this guy and he gives you 500 reputation for a kill but obviously with a guild perk you get 550 and again there will be another quest to kill this guy and you'll get some, I think it's 1000 rep, but because of the guild per 1100. So there we go, he's dead, pretty easy. You get some bind on equipped stuff that sells in the auction house. Da, da, da. 
and there you go that's how to farm reputation for the mount uh, also as you can see in my bags um, another one of the pluses is you get a lot of never weave cloth again it's not worth too much about 12 gold per 20 but still just because you want the mount it's just an added bonus really I think I got about 300 stacks uh, yesterday just by farming some reputation so you know 3k that's not bad I'm not really in it for the gold I just want the mount so yeah that's probably the easiest way to do it so let's go back to the camp uh, what you do as well uh, when your reputation gets a lot stronger say when you get to honored or a bird you'll actually be able to take another raid to another part which is in the stone tunnel mountains and when you get there it's like another base like this uh, with some quests and those quests gives you a lot more reputation uh, there's one called bombing run that gives you about 500 reputation so all in all if you grind hard and you're focused you should be able to get the mount within eight hours i reckon uh, maybe a bit less if you're better at farming and grinding or maybe a bit more if you want to split it over two days it's up to you really but i hope i've helped you um please subscribe like and make a comment thanks very much cheers bye okay guys this is just a quick little recap of what mobs you can kill and how much reputation you get with the different mob that you kill okay so just go over that list pick out the best mobs and good luck thank you very much